Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Strain, and welcome to. Oh dear. I think I full screened my OBS. Wait, if I just do F11 on it again, it should just work, right? Okay, so F11's default window is taking it from window to window. That's slightly annoying. Um, first of all, oops. Uh, sorry for getting distracted. My OBS got weird because I full screened it on accident. Anyway. Welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies. Um... In the last episode, we had the Christmas special. And as much as I was debating on uploading it on Christmas, I have a video planned for Christmas, so I don't want to do that. But anyway, I have some gum here, and I'm going to be putting in my mouth because my I'm a little peckish. And... I also have something I need to be doing later, so... Yeah. Other than that, um, well, we're back in uh, Doki Doki's Dream, uh, Doki Doki Blue Skies. Um, we just are, we've just now entered Act Three, and we've also just had the Christmas episode. So yeah. And if you enjoyed that, be sure to, uh, if you missed it, be sure to go back and watch. But let's hop into it. Ah, there we go. Most people typically see January as a pretty dreary month. January blues, I think it's called. With the cold weather, the gray skies, the end of the Christmas holidays. Yeah, I can see it. Not this January, though. I haven't been able to get serious kiss out of my mind. It's hard to believe she's actually my girlfriend now. And just four months ago, we hadn't spoken in years. So we're in the club discovering serious feelings for me and you know, finding out about her depression. The old thing has been so unexpected. Still, there's a few days left on Chris of the Christmas break. I know exactly how I want to spend them. I have shooting Siri text to make my way over. What well, magical adventures are we going to do go on today, Ryan? I'm glad you asked that, Siri. So we're going to go on a, to a magical snowy wonderland. It's going to be a wild journey filled with uh, snow, snowballs, and uh, festive lights. She looks at me at a moment before bursting out laughing. Oh, you're so silly sometimes. Hey, it's not like you come up with good imagery on the spot. Try me. Okay, then I will. Let's see what you can come up with, Miss Literary Expert. Thanks for a moment. We're going on a bold, daring adventure to a place brimming with magical lights, pristine snow, and frozen icy fractals. You know what? I know what I'm beat. Zero gives it the pr with pride. I hate pressing spacebar too fast because my thumb is big and fat. Zero gives it with pride, puffing your chest out proudly. Although I bet you don't even know what half those words mean. Did Yuri lend you a th a theft? I'm not even gonna try to say that word, but this word I can't say that without sounding like I'm drunk. So I expect my jaw to earn a pout from her, but she stands firm. Don't forget this thing you'll never stack up to the Ice Queen. <laughs> ice Queen. Well, where is someone whose hands get cold super easy? Especially whenever this person accidentally leaves her gloves at home. That got her. Meanie. You can never let me win. I sat up closer and planted a kiss on her nose. You love it, really. Although the pout tells me otherwise, there's no denying that red blush creeping onto her cheeks. 
By the way, with you, for your sake of Santa, who did you go shopping with? Mitsuki? That must have been an awkward afternoon. It wasn't actually. It's rather I get to see Mitsuki outside of the club, so it was a really nice day to get out together. The jacket is so cute! OBS makes it look weird, probably makes it look weird. And the YouTube maybe makes it look weirder. But the jacket, it's so cute. I love it. Oh. I actually have a similar jacket to this, not pink, but. A similar one nonetheless. Girls, stay out, eh? You could say that. She helped me out a lot when it came to picking a present for you. Tut tut. Couldn't even think of a present for me without coming without some outside help. You were the one who admitted it was hard at the Christmas party. Checkmate. Since when was your memory that good? Oh, fair. The ice queen never forgets. She laughs as I roll my eyes. You really like that self-appointed title, don't you? It doesn't even make sense. You hate the cold. Does it bother you? Should I let it go? <sighs> I can't believe you just did that. She giggled sweetly, playfulness laced in her laugh. Anyway, she was really stuck on what to get Yuri. It was the obvious choices, like a new pen, a book, or something to do with tea. She was sitting here getting one of those, but she said she wanted to go with something that wasn't so obvious. She really thought the one she wants to be. Yeah, I got that impression. Look on Yuri's face. Man, she really wasn't expecting the Lily at all. I'd have thought Nusuki would have gone for... Got her a horror book and be done with it. That's the thing. Nusuki said she likes to surprise people. When you get past the prickly side, she really has a big heart. Not exactly hard to have a big heart when you're that small, though, is it? Ryan! It's a joke. It's a joke. So please don't tell her I said that. Hmm. Only if you allow me chocolate. So then, sound so b and maybe some cookies, and they also the back massage, Ferrari, perhaps a holiday cruise, the Caribbean as well. Well, now that you mention it, you'd be so lucky. What are you gonna have, Siri? Hmm. Her eyes was over the menu, giving the abundance of cakes, buns, and other sweet foods. I'm not expecting to reply any time this decade. Cinnamon buns again? No, actually. And then I'm gonna try the sponge cake. It looks so soft and delicious. Genuine excitement on her face, so endearing to see. I think this is this. I think a girl this adorable is mine. After giving her order to a waiter, I can't help but reach across the table and take her hand in, in mine. She looks a little surprised initially, but soon rubs my hands with her fingers, smiling shyly. Yeah, that's something I've always loved about you. How adorable you are. Huh? Even you know, right now, you're getting really flustered, aren't you? Me? No! It took me a while to realize my feelings for you. This is the tickle fight we had back in September. I remember seeing a look in your eyes. We were... In a really well, awkward position, you looked at me with a look I'd never seen before. Yeah, I remember that moment. I had no idea how to react. It was the first time we'd spent together outside of school in a while. I was really happy that day. Me too. Oh, fuck. I guess that was the first day my feelings for you began to bloom. Also, if there is like a breeze or like a gust of air, the, my microphone, like if I hit, t put my hand on the microphone, Microphone. And I go back a few feet. That's my AC. <laughs> so, yeah. My AC is right there and uh, there's wind blowing through it. So, if there's a gust of wind, I apologize. Because I'm feeling a draft on my knee. So. Over the months, those feelings grew stronger. You gave me a bit of food once and your hands brushed against mine. I remember thinking about how soft your hands felt. It took me totally off guard. Ah, so that's why you zoned out... Zoned out. I was wondering why you looked like you were in a trance. I wasn't the greatest cover my tracks, was I? You smell really nice, too. I remember letting that slip when we were carving pumpkins. Doesn't even make any sense. I hadn't showered that day. I don't know. Maybe it's just your natural scent, then? Yeah, that does make me sound like a real caveman, doesn't it? At least you're a very handsome caveman. Now it's my turn to go red, finding my weak spot. Sayori so grins, moves her mouth, no doubt eager to watch me flow for a change. Thanks for a moment of opportunity is interrupted by the waiter bringing us our food. Another huge smile appears in her face as the cake is put in front of her. It's really not that hard to put a smile on her face, is it? Watching her eat is a sight to behold. It's almost like she's inhaling it. Drain the bottomless pit that is her stomach. I relate to this! A little too hard! I'm in this image and I don't like it. What's the matter, Ryan? Combat's making you turn red? You know, it was really cute seeing you under a wrist room when you warmed up my hands. You were stuttering and everything. Something tells you it was because of the cold. Guilty as charged. My master plan worked! I should have known it was all a ruse. 
And again, I got to hold hands with you, so aren't we both winners? Don't take my victory away from me, meanie. I'm taking it away from you. Just sharing it. Is that so wrong? I stuck my tongue out at her. I give her credit, though. The mistletoe plan was pretty flawless. I had absolutely no clue it was coming. It was so much fun to plan with the girls. You already felt bad, but Suki and Monica were all for it. I looked absolutely terrified when you saw the mistletoe. Well, duh. It was never acting up when we almost skipped before the others arrived. Then I had to do with three other people watching? That plan almost backfired on you, though. Huh? Well, it was, it was your first kiss, too, right? Oh, yeah. Though I had advice from Monica beforehand. On how to kiss someone? Yep. I didn't, know you were meant to, I didn't know you were meant to close your eyes. I stare at her. Even I knew that. So I wanted to teach you a lot, didn't she? I'm not legally obliged to answer that. I burst out in laughter. Hey! Sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to figure out how that conversation went down. Did you ask Monica how to kiss someone? Or were you meant to put your hand... Or were you meant... Or were you meant to put your hands while you do it? Oh, I didn't. I kind of wanted to, though. I had no idea what to do, to be honest. I was scared that I'd mess it up. You know, it being your first kiss and all. The more I thought about it, the worst I felt was I... The worst I felt, I put you in a really awkward situation. So okay, I enjoyed the kiss, after all. Plus, it was my first one as well, so I was hardly a pro. Really? Really, really. And you know what they say. Practice make perfect, right? Very smooth. An hour or so later, we both went over to my living room. I'm lying on the sofa with a cigarette cold up next to me. Content as can be. You know, now that we're actually together, what are we meant to do? I have no clue. You're my first girlfriend, after all. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice just to cuddle up together. When you think about it, what couples do together? What comes to mind? I have to pause and actually think about this. Uh, like, go on dates? Which I guess we technically just did at the cafe. Sorry, sir. I'm just really as clueless as you are. That's right. I guess you have all the time in the world to figure it out. You know, it's perfectly happy just to cuddle up together. Just being with you, no matter what we're doing, makes me happy. Aww. That's how I feel with you, too, actually. Does that mean I cancel the romantic getaway to Paris, then? She pokes me in the side. But France is more is the romance capital of the world. How much money have you got to spare, Siri? Does that include pocket money I spent years ago? Yeah, sure. Maybe, maybe negative 200 yen, then? That's like, what, $2? <laughs> That's like, what, $2? I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Pause. I'm looking this up. Yen to USD. Two hundred yen. It's it's one ninety two. <laughs> so two hundred yen is a dollar and ninety two cents. So yeah, <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> well, unless the planes are operated by really really tired hamps, I don't think we'll be going to France anytime time soon. I really want a hamster. Why? What do you mean why? To pet. What would you call it? Stuart? Why? Because of that movie? Yep. You know Stuart Little was a mouse and not a hamster, right? Eh, yeah, what's the difference? Hamsters taste nicer. Is it bad that it actually made me laugh? Means your humor is like mine, so take that as you will. That's definitely not a good thing, then. So if you push you off the couch, you wouldn't dare. Oh? I've had a better idea. So without hesitation, we get to tickle her mercilessly. In fact, this instance, Yuri immediately begins squirming and laughing uncontrollably. Oh no, not this again! <laughs> this is not so unfair, you didn't even give me a chance. If I remember correctly, last time it was you initiate. So here's a taste of your own medicine. He was riding on a couch, blue eyes shimmering with tears from her involuntary laughter. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for what I said about your humor. Just please stop. As a merciful, as a merciful I bait ever so slightly. Just give her a chance to catch her breath. Bad move. Sorry, Linda, for pinning me beneath. Oh, actually, yeah, they actually did the detail of biting her lip. It looked weird. Sorry, Linda, for pinning me beneath her. This bout of unexpected dexterity totally catches me off guard. Went to flump my body, sinks to the opposite end of the couch. 
Just no time addition out to Cole Avenger. Within seconds my left out scrubbing us to play space entirely. Oh damn, I did not expect you to ah, be able to do that. <laughs> Zooming her face closer to my making sure I can see how smoked she is. Which actually gives me an idea. Darting forward, I plan a desperate kiss on her lips. Unlike with our previous kisses, this time my tongue is involved, slowly pressing against her top lip. Directed to me, her hands are going to try to tickle me to slowly link you around the back of my head. As the kiss deepens, she slowly pushes me back down into the couch. Her body falls with mine. In a few seconds, I'm lying down with her body directly on top of mine. My mind is going wild trying to process exactly what's going on. I lean tighter for the kiss to distract her, but it's ignited some urge in both of us. Her body feels so warm against mine. And the sudden jolt of very aware of part of the story named me two parts that are pressed up against my chest. Need to say the atmosphere is completely charged, neither of us know how to react. The sounds continues on with each passing second feeling like hours. As the house rests settles, her body is pressed on top of mine, and there's some kind of primal instinct story within the both of us. I open my eyes. Sorry? She hastily climbs off of me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... It's okay, it's okay. It just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I had a lot of fun today, Ryan. The champ school starts tomorrow, though. I was hoping you wouldn't remind me. Ugh. We get the results for December exams back. Journey could go one of two ways. It's gonna be fine. Uh, I think. One way to find out. Anyway, it's getting late. Want me to walk you home? Sure. Things are getting very hot in here, eh? <laughs> I'm very nervous for how the, uh... Because, I, like I said, I, I've seen the, uh... The CGs of the nudity sequences. Because there aren't... There is nudity in this mod, and I warn you all now. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know how they're going to... I don't know if they're going to go to the cyberpunk ground and completely cut it. Or they're just going to have text and the image isn't going to be there. I'd assume it's going to be text without the image. Personally, I might pause and cut it out completely. And then just put on... Just, just put on very descriptive adult scene on the screen. <laughs> and text. And here we are, back in class. Man, the holidays really whizzed by in a flash. Seeing Siri in the morning really makes a huge difference to how, how I perceive the school day. Am I a horny person now? Maybe she really is my sunshine. Slick her poem. Really made me mushy, hasn't she? Wonder what Mom would think. Psst. Morning, enemy. Good for Christmas break? So, did it work? Huh? Sayuri, duh! You guys together yet? Going straight in, I see. Well, are you? Yeah, we are. I knew it! Are you going? Well, I think that's everyone. The last student makes their way into the depth. Makes their way to this. I write puts on the re register and stands in front of the class. Everyone had a good break. There's a weak, lukewarm murmur. Ah, oh, come on, guys. You got it easy. Your exams were before the break. I used to teach at a school that had January exams. At least they had a reason to be so enthusiastic about returning. I exams in February. And my birthday's in February. <laughs> so February would suck. <laughs> Anyone get anything cool for Christmas? Yeah, Mom finally came and got me this new pair of running sneakers. Practical for sure. A friend of mine got me a plant. Not sure what it's about. I'm not sure what about history and flower man, but hey, life's full of surprises. Anyway, given I'm supposed to start the lesson five minutes ago, let's begin, shall we? Normally, I'd eat outside when it comes to lunchtime. Given how cold it's gotten recently, the outdoors doesn't particularly appeal to me right now. So a lot of students opt to eat, just eat in their homeroom, especially as the temperatures drop outside. The cumber is also a viable choice, and luckily is always free around lunchtime. Over Christmas break, we decided to be eating there in the club room, and despite Mark saying she couldn't make any promises, the decision was pretty much universally agreed on. I'm going to stomach and make my way over. 
Yuri and Isagi are there by the time I arrive. Although they're not exactly best friends or anything, their friendship is much less sh shaky than it was three months ago. I can tell you the Suki self has really touched Yuri. Hey guys. Romeo himself has arrived. And Suki. Afternoon, Ryan. Monica's not here yet? So I'm just surprised, is it? You know, given how little how she has like five million extra extracurriculars going on. The door swings open as Yuri walks through a cheery smile on her face. Hey! So Gobi decide, decided to go to eat together for lunch times. Like a bad kind of surprise almost yesterday earlier. Well it's a new year and a new start. All we need is mo Once again, the door swims open and Monica waves at us, an apologetic smile on her face. Sorry, sorry. I had so much stuff to sort out. My teacher was talking to me about university applications. <laughs> Already? But your second year of high school isn't even over yet. Monica sighs and really rubs her temples, pulling out her food. Yeah, I know. It's stressful, to say the least. Also, I'm getting the results of my December back exams back soon. Don't worry, Monica. I'm sure you've done just fine. You work so hard. I'd be inclined to agree. You're a model student, and I know how much effort you put into your studies. Ahem! <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat a little bit there. Because, <clears throat> Sore throat and all that. Fun. Very fun. For anyone says, no, it's not that. Monica smiles at their efforts, but doesn't look wholly convinced. I'm not all here. I should tell you that we don't have a club meeting today. There wouldn't be much point, given none of us have any poems to share. We can all send it tomorrow, though, if you guys are interested. I know we didn't hold too many last semester, and that's on me. Sorry, I had a lot going on. Yeah, that for me tomorrow. I'm probably a little rusty, so this will be a good chance to get back into it. Turn to Sayori. We could write one together, if you'd like. I'm still not as good as you, so this could be a good way to learn. Oh, that could be really fun. Tonight? Yep. Well, that's the two lovebirds sorted. Works for me. Yuri also nods in agreement. Oh, see you guys tomorrow then. Grace is writing something down in her planner. I also noticed that she's in the pen that Yuri got her for Christmas. Just by the shy smile on Yuri's face, it's safe to say she's also noticed. Lana suddenly stands out, something packing away our food containers. Wait, you're leaving so soon? Yeah, I can't really stick around. I need to talk to my parents about the whole university thing. They've been hounding me ever since the exam started. Season started. See you guys later. And just like that, she's gone. Free time is foreign to her, isn't it? We really have so much going on. I couldn't fathom being in her shoes. Stress would be too much. With those exams you have to take for university, I don't envy you guys in the slightest. Oh, well, we don't take those exams until, the, until third year, but I think Monica has started her prep recently. And Joseph being a first year, Natsuki, count yourself lucky because you'll be in Monica's shoes before you know it. Or how long it'll take till Sakura starts asking me the same thing. Question lingers on my mind as the rest of lunch break passes by. At the end of the school day arrives to so wander down the corridor towards Yuri's homeroom. On the way, I spot Yuri leaving her own classroom. Hello again, Ryan. Um. Yuri looks away, failing with a strand of her hair. You don't have to, of course, but she stands there, struggling to find the right words. What? Like, would you like to walk home together? What? You want to walk home with me? Sorry, it's your suggestion. I don't know why I asked. It wasn't like I didn't want to or anything. I just didn't expect you to ask. Are you sure? I know you know we walked to Yuri, and I wouldn't want to intrude upon it, that or anything. We're doing for nothing. What? Yuri, why would she mind? The more the merrier. It's cool. I was just on my way to go and find her now, so free for you to tag along. Soon after, I spot Yuri in the hallway. She looks curious, curiously at Yuri trailing behind me. There you are. Give her a daring peck in the lips, causing her to blush. Hey. Ready to walk home? Yuri's going to be joining us this time, if that's okay. I hope it's no bother. Surprise logic across Yuri's features that is gone as soon as it's appeared. Oh! Sure, that's fine. Although, I can't come with you guys today. Oh? Um, my home teacher wanted to talk to me about some stuff, so you two go ahead. I'll walk with you two tomorrow. Are you sure? Pretty sure we can wait. Yuri nods in agreement. It's no bother. But Yuri shakes her head. No, there's no telling how long it'll go on for. Plus, I think it might be a long discussion. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, okay then. See you soon. Bye, Siri. Slightly strange walking home with Yuri. Nothing against her, of course. It's just I've grown used to seeing Siri being there instead. Although Yuri's still fairly shy, I've noticed that she's come out of her shell a little bit, especially since we went Christmas shopping together. I'm not complaining or anything, but why did you want to walk home with me today? Ah, uh, well, she makes away in size. It's just not so easy. Oh, I don't push it. If my fire Yuri taught me anything, it's that you can never 
tell what demons people are internally battling. Given how I still know very little about Yuri, it's definitely best to err on the side of caution. Christmas period has always been very family oriented, at least for me. Ah! For as long as I can remember, my parents used to put a lot of effort in making Christmas memorable. Especially in this country, the focus on Christmas is spreading happiness. From what I read, Christmas is much more festivity concerned with religious in with with the most more festivity concerned with religion in Western countries, i.e. U.S. But I digress. I haven't spoken Christmas with my family in a while. If you don't mind me asking, why is that? You look sway picking out her sleeve, and most that she tends to do that when she's upset or nervous. They weren't around this year. It's possible. Really, there's more than rants, but then again, instinct felt doesn't have to push it. This Christmas period was very lonely, as you can imagine. Going shopping with you, exchanging gifts, playing with all the club members. It was truly the highlight of December. But it was only temporary. When I got home, I took out that piece of that Nasuki gave me. It was such a thoughtful gift, but it was also b bittersweet. That would have been the type of present my parents would have got me. So I was lucky to receive the plane. I was reminded that my parents weren't the ones to give, to give it to me. Eerie. I had no idea you were so lonely. If I, if I, you told me this earlier, I would have loved to spend time with you. A lot of fun we did at our Christmas shopping. You were a really good company. You gave really useful advice. I think I know what the devs are doing now. Because especially, and it's even funnier because I like Yuri more than Sayori. I thought I'd do something to mix it up. But I kind of like how this is going. Oh, well, you and Sayori are a couple. The last thing I want to do is... What last thing I'd want to do would be to intrude on that. And we have a concern away. You're a Siri and I both like you. You're our friend. You've seen how how Siri makes their top priority to ensure our friends are happy. It's not a problem at all. So I bother you with my troubles like this. It's just that I can't really talk to, to the other two girls. My eyes are very busy and Natsuki... Well, our friends have definitely improved since, since you first saw us argue, but... Now I see if you can be comfortable asking her to hang out. Yes. I've, I've always been quite solitary by nature. And while I enjoy the time to myself, sometimes it would be nice to spend time with another person. Especially one as open-minded as considerate as you. It's not that I don't appreciate the other club members. It's just that, well, I don't know if I spent a day with any of them where it's just us two. And well, I think it's rather obvious that social etiquette isn't an area I excel in. Hey, well, I'm glad you're comfortable around me and able to tell me all about this. About all this, Yuri. I know that's like I know what it's like to be lonely. Last year, before I reconnected with Yuri, all of you guys was pretty much alone too. I mean, I classmates sure, but we never really spent time together outside of class. My free time I spent alone. My parents had a divorce, so that made it a lot worse. So yeah, I'd hate for someone else to go through that, especially someone who's this good as a friend. I give her a quick hug. Based on looking her face, safe to say she was definitely not expecting it. Thank you, Ryan. It really means a lot to me. That's the thing, of course. What friends do. Anyway, what are you up to tonight? Well, given the semester's only just begun, I'm relatively free as I don't have any homework to complete. I've all started this new book. It's very popular, so you may have heard of it as well. Ha! Ah, more references to culture, I understand. The story revolves around a group of children and their struggle against a supernatural homicidal entity, which is the shape shift to explain its victims' worst fears. It typically takes the form of a deranged-looking clown. Actually, I have heard of that one. The kids later go on to fight the monsters as adult, like 20 years later, right? Yuri's eyes light up. Always been meaning to get into it. Ah, uh, well... I... Actually... I actually have some more copy if you're interested in reading it. Oh? That's a coincidence, if I've ever seen one. Haha. <laughs> sure thing. I'll let you know how I'm finding it, if you'd like. Is that something you'd want to do? That would be lovely. Well, this is me. Ah. Okay. Yes, sir, there's an aggressive conversation. Now that we're here, it's, there's a wistful, sad look on her face. And that she tries to hide by turning away. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for letting me walk with you. It's something eerie. And thanks for the look. I guess they're on this tonight. I look forward to hearing your thoughts the first few chapters tomorrow, then. Certainly, as I absentmindedly watch her walk down the street, I can't help but wonder if there's anything more I could do for her. Uh, if it wasn't already obvious, the book she's referring to is Stephen King's It. 
if it wasn't already obvious. And it's actually one of my personal favorite Stephen King novels. Uh, next to Cujo and, um... Cujo and Shining. Which are both also really decent movies. Shining being a cult classic and Cujo being fairly good. I would love to see a uh, 2020 Cujo. Because Doctor Sleep, I heard, was decent. In some ways, the situation is like series. Both girls struggling with an invisible adversary, and I was totally oblivious. In my theory's solitary nature, I suppose it was easier to see. But if Monica and Suki have struggled with anything as well. Given the latter's prickly nature, I don't think she'd ever tell me. And with Monica, she seems under a lot of pressure from her parents and teachers. This club isn't exactly the epitome of happiness, is it? An hour or so later, Siri texted me to let her know she was on her way. Man, her teacher really kept her for a while. I settled down the living room pens and paper at the ready. Oh, I can't decide what this poem should be about. Sorry. I'm not actually that bothered about writing a poem, to be honest. It says this week we could spend more time together. Really? I'm moving for myself, so I'm sitting directly behind her, wrapping my arms around her back. She goes and leans backwards. Uh-huh. But Ryan, I know, I know. To the side, I turn myself and pull up the notepad in front of me, pen in hand. After a while, we both finished with our poems. Sarah was a king when she said she has, she has better in creative subjects. Watching her brainstorm write her poem has proven to be a real eye-opener. Although not quite to the same extent as Yuri, Sierra really gets lost in her little world as she wrote. I was stuck st struck by how much attention goes into her work. For instance, she liberally avoids cliches and has an interesting varied rhyme scheme. Language is this emotive and effective, enabling the reader to vividly picture what she's talking about. It's easy to immerse yourself into the world that she creates, and the best part of it was seeing the look on her face as she wrote. My poem obviously can't hold a candle to hers, but it was at least a much more enjoyable to write my poem with hers next to me. Sayori? Hmm? What did your home teacher want to talk to you about? Uh oh, that. Well, I haven't been handing a homework in on time. I've just been, well, it's impossible to fi find the motivation to work on it sometimes. Have you thought about telling you about, well, your depression? I'm sure they'd be more lenient if they knew what was going on. From your respect, they probably think you, you're just being lazy. Um, maybe. That would be a lot of hassle. And she talks to reach over my bag and pull out the book Yuri lent me. Ooh, what's that? It looks scary. Right, it's a book Yuri lent, lent me while we were walking home. She just got into this book herself and happened to have a spare copy. I told her I always wanted to read this book as well. What a coincidence, eh? The silence for a few seconds. Did I say something wrong? So you alright? Oh, sorry. I was just looking um, look at the front cover. Pretty creepy, huh? Another awkward silence. Ryan, why did Yuri want to walk home with you? Oh, no. Here we go. Huh? Why does she look angry all of a sudden? Oh, that. Uh, not sure I tell Yuri about Yuri feeling ring and willing as. Because the French have Yuri's profession was rather personal. Ah, oh, no. Don't say that. It's the worst thing you could say. I can't tell you. Why not? Well, it's personal. Okay. He reached as well going through the difficult times at the moment. And we're friends, so I guess that's why she wanted to talk to me. You like spending time with her, don't you? I mean, yeah, is that normal between friends? Yeah, of course it is. Glad you two get along so well. You tell us when Christmas shopping together, right? Yep, she's actually really good with suggestions. She did take ages in the stationery shop. You'd think I'd be used to that, given how long you spend in any shop to have candy. Thankfully, not sure, but she barely responds. You okay? You seem a little tense. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just thinking about all the homework I need to catch up on. I should probably get going, actually. Aw, oh, really? He heads up and heads to the door. You can always ask Yuri to come over. She's better company than I am anyway. Huh? Close the door and I'm left there, wondering what the, all that was about. But I see something to upset her, or perhaps she had a fight with Yuri. Then I explain why she seemed angry at the mention of Yuri's name. I actually try to think of something, or I'll ask about it tomorrow. Wow. I think I'll do a little bit longer. I, I, it's only about a half, only 34 minutes, but I'll go a little bit longer. If it, When we hit 45, it's a nice stopping point, I'll, I'll stop. But if, uh, if we ever hit another nice stopping point, I'll stop. But then I'm fresh after a decent night's sleep and patiently waiting for Siri. The winter chill really has, really has no mercy, especially this early in the morning. Thankfully, Siri is particularly late, and before we know it, we're on our way to school. Hey, Ryan. Yes, I have Siri. How can we have service on this fine winter morning? 
I was curious. Um, who's your favorite club member? Not including you? Hmm. I don't really have any, to be honest. None of them are as awesome as you. Con, you gotta like one of them more than the others. There are my eyebrows. Where's this catch string coming from? Why the sudden interest? I I just wanna know how you long how well you're getting along with the others. Hmm. Maybe not Nasuki for obvious reasons. I never had the feeling that she likes me. Plus that's really awkward when it's just two of us. I spoke to her alone once last semester and it was a painful experience. What about Monica? Compared to Nasuki, we definitely get along a lot better. She looked super appreciative when I told her how much I liked the club, just for a reperformed. To be honest, she's always been a little intimidating. Nervously scratched the back of my head. You know, being a perfect student and all, maybe I'm mad for you, but sometimes I get the impression she might look down on me. Don't get me wrong, I definitely appreciate all of her hard work for the club and all. Once I can see, we never really spent time together, so I really wouldn't say she's my favorite either. So what about Yuri? Once I'm mistaken, Yuri is really trying hard to appear nonchalant. It doesn't work particularly well. Well... Probably say her? I mean, I've got to know her a little better over the last semester. You know, someone who could barely maintain eye contact with me. Someone who agreed to go shopping with me was just us. I enjoyed seeing her come out of her shell to allow me to see the real her, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I thought. So, is anything okay? I noticed you left kind of abruptly last night. I thought we talked about Yuri. Did you guys have an argument or something? I can't really imagine the two having a fallout. Of all people, it's extremely rough there to get angry, along with the fact that their personalities don't clash at all. So what could it be? Oh, of course not, silly. This is a bit surprised how friendly she's been with you recently, that's all. You know how shy she is. I'm just curious to, um... I'm just a bit surprised, that's all. Right. So it was looming in sight. So unfortunately, our conversation will have to end here. So as you can tell, the 1930s are very important for European history. Countries all across the continent were experiencing significant changes both politically and socially. I made it. My new sister is the end of my lesson before the bell rings, so we'll call it there. And I love Steam notifications popping up on screen. <laughs> I should... I need to fix that somehow. <laughs> oh, by the way, can I have a word, Ryan? I swear to God, those must be the scariest words you could ever hear. Well, along with, I'm pregnant, we have to talk, or it's not you, it's me. Hopefully things I won't hear from Sayori. Especially that second one. <sighs> what was the second one already? Was the second one? We have to talk. Oh no. Yeah! <laughs> Especially that second one. Eey. I first front desk awkwardly hovering by the side. I need to give you the results of the exam, so here they are. Okay, Ed, I need to give you the results of the exam to that list. He pulls out a piece of paper and lowers his voice as some students are eating nearby. You don't have to look like you've seen a ghost. My mom waters back to last October. Funny he should mention ghosts. For the most part, you've done well. They're great at history, Japanese, and English are especially satisfactory. Like being that literature club has really helped, huh? How did you know about that? Ryan, please, I'm a wise old owl. Are you one of the youngest teachers in the school? He sighs dramatically. You never let me have my fun, can you? So your grades are another subject could be a little bit better, namely math and physics. It's not cause of concern, but I know you can do better. Yeah, uh, about that. Should be told, last time was kind of hectic. Uh, relationship stuff. Ah, Sayori? How did you know? His eyes twinkle. His eye twinkles with a knowing smile. Anyway, you're a bright student. Well, when you want to be. So, breathe a sigh of relief. I recommend paying attention to the technical stuff from math and physics especially. Don't be afraid to ask for help when it's needed. Not everyone can excel at everything, but I have faith in your abil ability to bring your grades up. Thanks, sir. Past few months weren't easy. Relationships are tricky. So I'm glad I was able to keep up academically, at least. He paused to study me, offering a shrewd smile. Of course. She gave not to make Sayori jealous. When I've seen the literature club is full of girls. He chuckles to himself. When I've got to go to a meeting that I have to that I have to pretend to be interested in. There really is no rest of the wicked. I like how they wrote Sakurai. He's got like that, that dad like that dad energy that's like tries to be funny and he's like the teacher that always is trying to at least make the subjects interesting. I had a history teacher. I, oddly enough, I had a history teacher like that, and he's uh, he was really fucking funny. Um, and I remember he introduced me to um, um, I can't remember their names, but the two, the two hit two like YouTubers that are also history that do a lot of history stuff. So now he turns to leave as I turn to follow him. My brain keeps replaying his words over to me. 
Just careful not to make Siri jealous. Hmm. Phone him over my phone and it's a text from Monica sent to all the club members in the group chat. Hey guys, I've just been told that the club is being used out of school today. It's for a supervision center for the people to talk to to use about exam grades. Plus, the new important has popped up, which means I can't make it. I'll do my best to rearrange it. Sorry, guys. I mechanic and shooter apply it well enough. But my brain is whirling a million miles an hour as so I finally realize something I should have seen coming. Before I could say anything, sorry, stop the conversation. So my teacher can't be my exam results back. Oh. Yeah, I can't really complain, I guess. They're much better than I thought I would for biology. Physics was a bit of a nightmare. I thought it was great either. But on the whole, I think I've done okay. Sorry, are you jealous of Yuri? Bro, some of my question along with the clash of conversation topic takes you by surprise. For a moment, there's silence. Silence grows heavy as I realize how tactless I was with my approach. What makes you think that? You're my girlfriend, and I've known you for years. What would I have to be jealous of? She's trying to sound confident in her answer, but wavering in her, but the wavering in her voice gives her away. I don't know that the time we spent together, the Christmas shopping, and her walking home with me yesterday. So her turns away, so I can't read the expression on her face when she replies. She's talking to the ground. I'm sorry, Ryan. It's just you seem so happy with her, and we're just friends, Siri. I would have thought you could see that. Don't you trust me? I'm not sure I want to hear the answer. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that. I'm trying to believe that I'm worth your time, and then I hear about how she's your favorite member and the club you really enjoyed seeing her come out of her shell. So that's what she was talking about. She's it all makes sense now. For her first repression and now the jealousy. When I asked Yuri and when I asked Yuri why and then when I asked why Yuri wants home with you, she said you can tell me because it was personal. I mentally smacked myself, looking about of course the answer must sound suspicious. I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to sound like I doubted you or anything. So Ryan and I sit on the house, so comfortable I continue to press her. No, Siri, it's not your fault. I, I didn't see from your perspective at all. Please do when I say that you're the only one I want. You're is a great friend, but that's it. Feelings I felt for her have always been platonic. Wrap her into a hug, and she sighs. As I stroke her, she clings to me, hiding her face in the folds of my blazer. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I'm just... Oh, I'm totally new to relationships, so I don't have a clue what I'm doing. It's okay, it's okay. I didn't think you were doing it to hurt me or anything. Okay, good, because I never do anything to hurt you. But I'm such an idiot. Yuri's been feeling really lonely recently. Briefly fill Siri on what Yuri told me yesterday. I'm not entirely sure if I should be telling her this, but at this point in time, I'm much more concerned with, with complete clarity between Siri and I. Oh, so that's why. It makes a lot of sense thinking about it. Although I can't help but think... She looks at the ground again, nervously biting her lip. I can't help but feel like Yuri likes you, Ryan. Yeah, Really? We're really dense sometimes. There's a sad playfulness to her tone. Yes, really. She's trying to spend more time with you. She really appreciates her company. It's subtle, but I can tell by the way she looks at you. I think she gets attached really quickly. But she said that she, but she said that she knew we were together and didn't want to intrude on that or anything. Siri, maybe I was right then. About what? About me just dragging you down? Can I even give you that Yuri can't? Say to yourself, she's lonely. If she was with you, then she'd be happy. She's smart. She's really pretty. She's really elegant. What am I? I'm just an airhead. I can't even find the time to get ready in the morning. I'm just dead weight to you. You're so much more than that, Siri. Even if you were the most desirable girl on the planet, I wouldn't give a damn because you're the only person I want. You know something? When I was arguing with Yuri yesterday, I couldn't help but wish it was you I was with. It was only one time we didn't walk together, but one time is all I need to realize how much I enjoyed walking home with you. So what, if I, so what if you can't find the time to get ready in the morning? You're still beautiful even when you don't try. Aww, Ryan... You're saying that, though. I swear in my life that I'm being 100% genuine. These are things I've always wanted to say to you, but never really learned, never really known how. And that's not all. Wake up every day and feel so goddamn lucky that knowing that you're my girlfriend. You've always been there for me when I needed it most. I don't think I've ever told you how happy you make me. Pull her in closer to her kiss. She clings close to me and I can sense the urgency, and the urgency, the urgency in her to touch. It's possible to describe how it feels to hold her in this moment of vulnerability. Then they care how elegant Yuri is, but being honest, that's her. Who she is. But for your quirkiness and how silly we can be together. I have that link no other girl in the world can say they have. We really do have that history together, don't we? A history that I never trade for anything. Ryan? Mm-hmm. Please don't leave me. I know I'm being selfish for asking that. You're not. It's still so confusing. But when I'm with you, I feel warm inside. And I think that, just for a moment, that maybe everything will be okay. I can understand why you care so much about me. But 
I'll trust you. I'm glad, Siri. I really am. Being honest, she looks up at me. We can't do this alone. I think we should look into you getting some therapy. She looks away. I'll obviously always be there for you, but I'm just a normal teenage guy. There's only so much I can do. Don't know. Why not? It's just, it's a really scary thought. I don't want to go through all the, that false hope again. Again? I tried therapy and ate depressants before. Back when I was first diagnosed with depression. Everyone told me it would work. They told me that I would feel okay again. But that never happened. I was much younger back then. Everything was a million times scarier and more confusing. All of those tests, all of the questions, the drugs. I knew what was wrong with me. The whole thing was terrifying. But I could be a medical professional right now. Wow, Siri, I... I had no idea. I wouldn't expect you to have known. Would you if I said things would, have been, would be different this time around? Now, how would you know that? I wouldn't, at least for sure. If we leave this unchecked, how would things ever change? I know it's been really hard for, for you. Believe me, I can only imagine what you're going through. And I totally get, get why you're reluctant to try it again. But I promise you that this time I'll be there. You won't have to go through all of it alone. I squeeze her hand. Mm. Well, we'll get this straight through this together, remember? But what if it doesn't work again? We'll find another doctor or another therapist until it does then. It's not going to be that easy, though. I know, I know. But I'm never going to get bumped on you, so I don't care how long it takes. You're so selfless in how much how much you care for other people's happiness, but I want you to be happy. Do we really deserve that, though? Most people deserve happiness. Why don't you, Sigurd? Just ask yourself that. Please? For me? Okay. For you. Feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Finally, I feel like I'm not alone trying to help Siri anymore. I know that must have been a really difficult thing to agree to. I'm really proud of you. You're much braver than you realize. Although, I haven't been too pushy or anything, have I? I want to encourage you, not force you. Something I would have had to try sooner or later, I guess. Well, there's always a chance that therapy might fail again. It's also the only way I, I could potentially get better. See? That's a spirit. It doesn't look wholly convinced, but smiles anyway. I'll do it for you, Ryan. I'm not going to hold my breath, but if it makes you happy, I'll give it a try. That's all I can ask right now. It means a lot to me that you'd be willing to try again. Let's hope it works out a little better. Anyway, I'll talk to my doctor tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Wow, this is a very interesting choice. Oh, God. I don't want to cheat. But I want to make sure I get do this right. I'm going to pause and I'm going to look at a guide. Because as I know, again, it seems like I'm cheating. I don't want. I just don't want to screw this up, and I want to get the best ending for Sayori. So, give me two minutes. I'll be back, and we'll we will all do this thing momentarily. After looking at multiple guides and just confirming with one other guide and one other person who's played this mod, uh, one other person who's played this mod. Oh, 
mind, Suri. I can come with you to their, their positions if you want. Are you sure? Would they let you? I think so. I mean, if you tell them you're okay with it, I don't see why not. Just keep me updated, okay? I wouldn't want to miss your first session. Okay, then. And thank you. It's kind of daunting to start, so having you around should hopefully make it much easier. I'm just glad I can help. And with that, choice made. I'm going to end off the episode here. I kind of want to see how far we have to go to get the ending. So with that, I'm going to end off this episode here. We're gonna, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to try and get this ending. But before I do that, I definitely need to name these, all these files. So, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell so you miss out on any videos. Most importantly, follow me in the history down in the description below. And I will see you guys next week. We're watching this to make. And I'll see you guys again next week for more Doki Doki Blue Skies. Maybe the finale soon? Question mark? The wolf remains one of his most feared animals.